Welcome back guys for another awesome episode of Oxygen Not Included. What are we going to do in this episode? Well, we're going to be switching from farming hatches to farming stone hatches. I'm going to show you all about that. And um, I'm going to be, we're going to be uh, putting in a hatch drowning pool as well. That's going to be fun. And I'm going to be preparing for the Tower of Power. This I'm going to be putting in all the infrastructure for that. I'll take you through all of that. Uh, and we'll actually be putting that in in the next episode. It's going to be uh, oxygen uh, electrolyzers and hydrogen generators. And it's going to be very epic. Uh, and oh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sort out this. Because um, we've got this um, this cool, stent, cool steam vent. And uh, I just want to sort it out and do it slightly differently. So I'm, I'm actually going to wall it off down here. And have access to the water underneath. So that um, we, don't have, we don't have steam uh, problems. Which would be a good thing. And also, I'm going to uncover whatever this is. There is, a, there is a geyser or a volcano or a vent or something here. You can tell by this little... This little... Uh, bit of neutronium that there's something on here you can also see if you go to priority you can see that seven yeah it tells you there's something there we just don't know what it is all right so uh what are we gonna do first um i think we're gonna start uh, getting the stone hatches sorted out so if you want to if you want to change from having hatches to having stone hatches right, i'm gonna crank this up then you need to change what you're feeding them. Because, let, let me pause for a second, if we look at one of these hatches. You can see at the moment, this has got um, a 96% chance of producing a hatchling egg uh, when it reproduces. Uh, and it's got, only got a 2% chance of producing a stone hatchling egg. But if we switch uh, from whatever we're uh, feeding them at the moment, or were feeding them, because I've, I've already done it. Uh, we were feeding them sandstone. We're now going to feed them sedimentary rock. That is going to make them more likely to produce stone hatch eggs. And we'll see over time these percentages going up. In fact, they're already starting to go up. That one's 15, that one's 15, that one's 2, that one's 2. No, that one's 27. But they'll go way up, way up. So let's let that happen. Cool. Um, up here. Right, so because I want to have generators up here, as well as having uh, my coal generators down here. I want to link them together with heavy watt wire. So I'm going to be running heavy watt wire all the way around the outside of the base. No, that's the wrong one. That's better. Uh, so uh, around there, down there. I'm leaving a gap here so that if I want, I can put uh, power transformers in. And in a couple of places, I'm going to have to put in... Where are we? Uh, these heavy watt joint plates. So if I flip that one around, put that one uh, there. And that one I want there. Cancel that one. There we go. And let's um, come here. Thank you. Let's make that a priority. And let go away, Hatch. <laughs> there we go. Uh, make that a priority as well. All right, cool. Good job, and come on, get this one done as well. Oh, there you go. Boom. Hooray. So we've managed to seal up that room. Um, whole bunch of changes down here. This um, this room here. Oh, there's a blooming egg over there. There's hatches got out. And, oh dear, oh lord. Okay, well, whatever. A uh, lot of changes down here. I am going to move the hatchery and the the uh, the nursery and I figured that a good place to have um, our incubators would be here and then use this this is currently um, uh, the nature reserve but we can make that also um, the nursery that would kind of work so I'm going to get uh, a critter feeder and a couple of critter drop off points boom boom get those in let's get those rocking and rolling and what else do I want to do what else do I want to do uh, now I th I've already set the uh, the egg cracker to not crack stone hatchling eggs anymore because that's what we're trying to get 
So, yeah, I, th I think we start ripping this out. So, deconstruct, deconstruct, and then I want to deconstruct everything in here, including these crown mouldings. Now, I'm widening the, uh, the air gap. So, I'm putting in some extra airflow tiles all the way up. To, uh, to facilitate the, the, this thing, the hydrogen tower of power. This is going to be very cool. I think you're going to like this. Oh, now I need to need to do a little bit of work here. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to prioritise this, I think, and get this done. So let's make this priority seven. Getting that done. Cool. Um, I just want. Can I get them to put a tile in? I can through that corner. Let's put um, let's put a tile in there. If I make that priority nine, will somebody come along and do that? Hopefully they will. Ah, it's unreachable there. Now they'll have to come in. They'll have to come in this way and do it. They'll get there. They'll get there. Right. How are we doing down here? Let's have a look at these. Uh, let's have a look at these hatches again. So. What are our seven percent? Fifteen. Still two. Twenty-three. Two fifteen. Twenty-three. It's gonna take a little while. It's it's not like instant, but basically the more they eat sedimentary rock, the higher their percentage chances are gonna be for uh, producing a, a stone hatch egg. Uh they one of them's just produced an egg, but it's a hatchling egg. It's not what we want. It's not what we want. Okay, we've got these. Let's get, let's copy the settings from there. Boom. But the stone hatchlings, we're going to feed granite instead of sedimentary rock. So that's what they're going to be eating. Because we've got uh, loads and loads. Where is it? Here we go. Give me the ladder. Uh, we have got loads. We've got like 430, what, no, 43 tons of granite. As opposed to, we don't have a great deal of sandstone anymore and we've only got we've only got a little bit of sedimentary rock so i should get them mining out some sedimentary rock um i've got some sedimentary rock mined out here but there's plenty more up here so sedimentary rock is um, is not in short supply you know what I'll, I'll actually mine out a little bit up there now i wonder if i can sneak around the corner oh yes i can hurrah Let's go, so I want to see so I can get up to there. That gets them right up to there. Okay, cool. Let's let them get that done. Alrighty, um, okay, I'll say they've put this um, they've put this door in and they've dug under here. So what I'm gonna do now is get them to put in some insulated tiles down there. So if this if this erupts and produces steam, then the steam will go that side. And then the water can still come under here so we can get our water. And hopefully our guys shouldn't get scalded, which would be a good thing. Now, um, this tells us that we have an eruption period of 150 seconds every 379 seconds. Um, but the active period requires analysis. So, I tell you what, let's cancel this and we'll get this analysed. So, analyse and we'll make it priority nine. So hopefully... Lucy will get up here. Is that Lucy in the shower? Yeah. Come on, Lucy. Up you get. Get in here and do some analysis. Now this is gonna take a while. It's not a it's not a fast process. But we'll uh, we'll come back when that's been done. Uh I actually I suppose I can actually put the bottom two tiles in, can't I? Yeah, I can put the bottom two tiles in. Let's get that uh priority seven, I guess. All right, sweet. Okay, so what? Now? You know what? Um, I'll leave that door closed for now. But I think once I get that wall in there, I can probably have that airlock open, which would be a good thing. Now, research. Let's get a bit of research going. Once, well, once Lucy's finished doing that, she can get a bit of research going. What are we going to do? There's um, in order to do the the Tower of Power, I'm going to need a few things, and I'm certainly going to need. Uh, some computer stuff. We're going to need these generic sensors. I'm going to need a gas element sensor. And I'm probably going to need either an AND or an OR gate. I'm not sure which at the moment. Um, 
Not sure I'm going to need anything from here, but I think it might be an idea to do that one as well. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to get those three done. Okay, so that's, um, that's a whole bunch of research to get done. And then down here, I am going to rip out these incubators. So deconstruct. Deconstruct. And deconstruct. Hooray. There's much rejoicing. Right, we've ripped this out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to throw in uh, a door on either end. We'll throw in an airflow tile. I'm going to put in a critter drop-off point. So let's have, what do I want? Uh, food. Critter drop-off point. That's going to go in there. And then I'm going to have some incubators. So let's have one, two, three, four incubators going in. <laughs> Alright, cool. Those eggs, frankly, can just go and get cooked. It'll be fine. Alright, so, hatch drowning pool. Let's put in a hatch drowning pool. Uh, this will not be fully automated at this point, but later on we'll automate it. So what do I want? I want a couple of doors. And so we'll have door there and door there. And then I want tiles. It needs to be three tiles high. And then I want a critter drop-off point. And finally, we need a bottle emptier to fill it up with water. And then all that's left is to put a ladder up the side so that we can get up there. And we are done. Peachy. All right, cool. Oh, yep, they're taking the eggs away. Good. Get them cracked. Do you want to see them crack an egg? They've just put an egg in there, I think. How's a work errand to bring an egg up there? Everybody's asleep. Well, they're not all asleep. Only one of the shifts asleep, but... Oh, here we go. And they cracked the egg. Hey, <laughs> sweet. Alrighty. Um, how quickly do I want this done? Eh, fairly quickly, to be honest. Um, let's get those going. Alright, so I want to copy the settings from there to there. And from this critter drop-off point, copy the settings to there. And from this one to there. Alright, and then I can rip this stuff out. Cha-ching. All right, sweet. And the idea here is that I'm going to have... Um, a, I've got my hatch room here. Oh, there's our first stone hatchling egg. Ha, 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 sweet. Awesome sauce. Oh, and I've got my first incubator, so I can say stone hatchling egg, incubate, go. All right. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna have to reroute my power. So, I was saying, um, I've got one hatch room here. Now, my other hatch room was that... Well, is there at the moment... But I'm actually going to move that to here because because then it'll be symmetrical because this is it, like at the moment this is throwing off my feng shui like totally so we'll get that sorted out that's getting ripped out uh, here I guess what we'll do is put like a couple of tasks there that's going to actually oh now I've got those in the wrong place I've got those in completely the wrong place let's try that again what I actually want. Oh, I need to get this, I need to get that door put in. So, if I rip that tile out, then they'll be able to get in here, they'll build that, and then they'll build that. Hooray! And that'll keep the puffed in. Good news. How are we doing with this? Shall I get this built ASAP? Um, th you know, no, there's no great panic for it. Let's see, what can we get from here? Uh, 500 kilograms of algae, unless... See, I, I want a, I want a machine operator. I want two machine operators. In actual fact, they're going to be um, they're going to be doing construction and machinery. And this guy's got Grease Monkey, which is awesome. Pacifist, I don't mind, but he's got Slow Learner. And if anything, I want them to have um, like Quick Learner. So I, I think I'll just take the algae instead. Yeah, print. I can be patient about bringing extra dupes in. 
Uh, now that I've ripped those that storage out, I need to throw in some more storage. So let's throw in some storage. One, two, three, three, four, four, and three, and cancel that one. And am I going to put in the sculpting blocks? Yeah, I suppose. We'll try and keep everything fairly nice. Boom, 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 boom. All right, good. All righty. Okay, we've got another egg over there. Uh, hatchling eggs. It's not what we want. Yeah, let's have a look at the percentages again now. Because it should have gone up a bit. So 27, 31, 11, 11, 23... 11, 37. Getting up there. Let's have a look at these as well. 37, 40. That's more like it. 42, 54, 35, 48. Yeah. Yeah, we are getting there. Uh, right, so I need to power this up, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's get this sorted out. So, how am I going to set this up? Okay, I think I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to run this up here and across there like that. And then I'm going to get rid of that. Priority 9. Go. And then we can have that just going up there like that. So that'll be that. And then I just want to rip that out, don't I? Yeah. So let's make this rip those out, please. Cool. All right, that'll work. And I suppose I should get rid of those as well. Trim the ends off that. All righty. Another egg. Stone hatch eggs, boys. Give me stone hatch eggs. I, I really want to get, I really want to start drowning hatches over here. I'm really tempted to get this built ASAP. Oh, man. All right, what else am I doing? So... Oh, we've got this done now. Hooray. Analysis complete. Sweet. So now we can see that the active period is 112.4 cycles every 181.3 cycles. It will be dormant the rest of the time. Okay, cool. So we can finish this off now and just put a couple of insulated tiles there and there. Um... Yeah, let's get those done as a priority. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Oh, here we go. Eruption. Oh, careful, corpse hatch. What's the temperature up here? It's not too bad, actually. All right, so now that's going to keep the steam over this side... And then the water will kind of just come up. We can grab it from the pitch pump for now. Later on, once I get the um, the Tower of Power going, I'm going to be pumping this water directly over here and turning it into uh, oxygen and hydrogen, which will be sweet. And you're probably going, oh my God, you're going to be doing it with like hot water, like 60, 70 degree water. You're insane. Haha. <laughs> this, this is going to be a great way of um, deleting heat from your base. So... Next episode, you're going to want to watch because it's going to be cool. Uh, have we got the have we got the cables done yet? Probably not. Oh, I've got to do cable into that, 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 and there. All right, now we're good. Now we're good. Okay, so this cable is going to go through here and then up there. So I'm going to need. Let's see. I'm going to need a heavy watt joint plate uh, there. Now, what's the slime situation? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. I should run it into there and then across there, shouldn't I? That would be more sensible. Yeah, don't do that. Um, yeah, deconstruct that. Yeah, deconstruct that. Priority 9, go. Yeah, that's much more sensible. Okay, so... Let's get the rest of this room finished off. I'm going to want a door there. And I'm going to want tiles here. I'm just wondering, do I, do I do this with... I think I'll probably do this with airflow tiles. Um, 
Let's do it with airflow tiles. Let's let this polluted air out. It's all going to get filtered out, so it's all fine. Okay, so I'm going to want airflow tiles there, there, and there. And then they can dig that out, and they can get rid of that. All right, sweet. I need another plate there, don't I? Yep. Swap that around. That goes in there. And once that door's gone, then I can join that cable up to there. Awesome source. Uh, I've put that in so I can hook that cable up as well. That gets hooked up to there. So that then gets me all the way up to here. Excellent. Uh, right. At this point here, I want to put in a, a mechanised airlock. And then once I've sealed that up, then I can just run this cable up here. I'm not sure exactly where I want it because I'm not sure exactly on my placement of my generator. So I'll have that sorted out for the next episode. But getting this heavy watt wire up to there is fine. Now, over here, uh, dug this. Oh, oh, have we figured this out yet? Oh, yes, we have. What have we got? We have got a cool slush geezer. Awesome source. You know what? Let's just do an analysis on that as well. Oh, I thought that was Lucy coming up to do the analysis. Um, but a cool slush geezer, that is going to be awesome. Now, that's going to be awesome for cooling. Uh, but you know what? I'm probably not going to use it in this. I could. I I certainly could use it. But I think I'm not going to. Because I want to show you how to how to cool this kind of stuff. Um, without necessarily like getting lucky and getting a, a cool slush geezer. That is damn good, though. We are not going to have any cooling problems. So let's see. Um, that's going to come down here and either go that way or that way. Um, so I just want to dig this out then. Sweet. Dig that out, dig that out, dig that out. Um, I can dig the rest of this out then, I guess. Yeah, dig the rest of that out. Anything else that I want to dig out? See, I could I I could get this coming down and just going straight down here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Deconstruct that and then just put um, just put a ladder down there, I think. And dig that one out. And then that frozen water can just go straight down into here and I can have a frozen water reservoir. That is blooming awesome. Alrighty. Oh, they're starting to get my hatch drowning spot sorted out. We've got the first stone hatchling egg going. No more eggs. Wow, they're being slow. With oh, we've got the second one. Hooray. Okay, so you. Stone hatchling egg. In incubate. Awesome sauce. That's done. This is all looking good. There's one tiny little bit to do there. Dig those out. And, uh, yeah, let's do this bit. Let's do this bit. Well, I need to do these two first, don't I? Yeah. So, we'll we'll make these priority nine. Dig those out. And do that ladder. There we go. That's polluted water, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, in that case, well, uh, no, they need to clear this out. That's a good point. Not mop. Uh, yeah. Let's priority, uh, not priority nine. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, yeah, this is erupting now. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did that a bit quicker than I was expecting. We, uh, we need all of this stuff cleaned out. So, yeah. Get all of that stuff moved, boys. A lot for you to do. Oh, look at this mess. And whilst it's polluted water, but look at it. Look, what's the temperature of it? Okay, well, let's have a look. What's the temperature down here? Minus 20. Uh, is it, uh, uh, this should be the... Oh, no, that's like 30 degrees there. Yeah, it, it should be coming out like minus... I don't know. Minus 20 odd. 
that's good news. Alright, it's not going to take them too long to get rid of this. Oh, poor guys are caught cold. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, they're sending you into, like, scalding water or, you know, freezing water. Oh, we've got 1% one per, one stress. Gonna have to be careful. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to get out of hand. All right, now, yeah, now I'm just going to let them get on with that. Uh, and while I micromanage getting the last egg going and uh, and probably switching switching the rooms around a little bit, like so, like getting this stuff deconstructed and whatever. All right, let's let it happen and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Well, everything is looking pretty awesome at this point. We've got... Three stone hatches in here. We've got five hatchlings in here. So that's a full room's worth. We've got four eggs incubating. So we'd only need like four more eggs. And then we'd have like two full room's worth. So I think um, beginning of the next episode, we're going to be shipping these guys off to, uh, to the executions. Oh, poor guys. Uh, we don't need to be filling that with water anymore, do we? No, we don't, because they've obviously they've obviously drowned. Oh, poor guys! Uh, disable auto bottle, and we'll just turn that off. And then we just want to open this. There we go. Let the water out. Oh, the poor the poor critters. And then uh, lock it up, and we're ready for the next ones. Wow, we're up to almost half a million calories. <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. Alrighty, so um, I think we can say Stone Hatch Farm, done. And as far as the, the Tower of Power, that is all built and ready to go. We've got the geezer sorted out. This is really nice. That works really well. I like this little design. That's good. And then over here, let's have a look. So we've got the, uh, the slush geezer pumping stuff out. And what do we have down here? Oh, oh, oh yeah! And the great thing about this is that this is uh, this is germ-free polluted water. So all we've got to do is run that through a sieve if we wanted to, and um, we could pump it straight into here. But that's not what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be um, because for one thing, I've got to warm this water up a bit before we could just run it through a sieve. Because at the moment, if I ran that through a sieve it would instantly turn to ice uh, as soon as it was uh, pure water. Polluted water doesn't freeze until it's about minus 27 or something. But uh, regular pure water freezes at zero. So we've got to warm that up. But that's not a problem. We can, oh, we can do some very, very cool things with this. And we're going to do some very cool things with the, with the Tower of Power. Next episode. If you want to see it, come back for the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like all the little stone hatches. They are very cute. And I'll catch you with the next one. Peace out.